What is up, guys? I am back. It has been a while. I think it's been about a year, year and a half. But we're going to start making videos again. Or we're going to, damn, we're going to try. We're going to try to make some, some more bangers for you guys on YouTube. And I am so stoked to go snowboarding again. It is... 70 degrees out right now, so I don't know when we're gonna go snowboarding again, but I might do like maybe a couple little longboarding videos in between. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I'm so excited to go snowboarding that I wanted to make this video a little gear list of what I'm going to be riding and using for the season. Um, so let's get into it. All right, so this board might look pretty familiar uh, in a couple videos. This is my LibTech box knife. It's got Magna Traction, True Twin, 154. It's got some cool stickers on it. And I decided to uh, try out these new uh, Union Ultra bindings on it. Uh, and uh, I can uh, maybe do a review on those once, you know, the snow comes and everything, but for now, they're just kind of looking cool on them. Uh, the colors are so sick on these bindings. They like, I don't know if you can see it, but they like kind of fade. And I, I just think it's so sick. I think they just match the board really cool. Uh, and like, these things are awesome. Like they're all, like this is all foam right here. Like insane like I'm so hyped to try these all right so that's this is this is gonna be the park board for the year let's get into uh, the, the the new board I got yeah I got a new board sorry I thought the snowboard was just about to fall down but it's a Jones. I got the new 2023 Jones Mountain Twin. Um, so like, watching reviews, they say that's like a freestyle board you can use all mountain. And same with this, but I felt like I wanted something, you know, a little different. Um, you know, for all mountain, this board's cool. It's got the 3D shaping on it. Uh, Jones does like a Magna Traction type of deal. Jones technically owns Magna Traction, I believe, and kind of lets LibTech use their design. It's not as aggressive, but you'll still get that nice hold on ice. And I really like the uh, the 3D shaping idea for uh, you know going through powder and stuff. We don't really get a lot on the East Coast, so I felt like this would be perfect for the kind of conditions we get to ride in every day. Um, I did throw my Rome Katanas on it because I felt like they are a very good suit for this board and kind of bindings. A little bit more, uh, seem those the Ultra seem a little bit more damp. So this will probably give me a little bit more board feeling. Man, like I have to say like 157, I think I got this board in. And, uh, Oh, and if you want a size reference, I'm about five foot nine, 170 pounds. Uh, I do ride goofy, and my shoe, uh, my boot size is a size eight. Um, yes, I have small feet, but yeah, this is uh, the board I'll probably be shredding most of the year. So uh, I'm gonna go put this back over there. So now we'll get into some, some coats I got for the year. We got this nice, sweet 32 jacket. This is probably gonna be more for like the, sorry, the more 
Um, I would say warmer days, you know, don't need as much to wear under it. It's pretty light, but just enough to like keep you dry and warm enough for the day. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of wearing hoodies. I always fall and get wet. Um, so this will probably be perfect and it's nice and like loose and this not stiff. And then, so that's a jacket, a 32 jacket. Um, then I got this, this is probably the jacket I'm gonna wear the most. Uh, Pitcher's Organic a Stone Jacket, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, this jacket's sweet. It's got 2000K waterproofing on it. So that's pretty awesome. Well, definitely stay nice and dry. That's like one of the most waterproof things I think Pitcher Organic makes. So that's pretty sweet. And like, look at this design, dude. Like, they got, they got this man, like skiing and stuff. Like, or not skiing, like sledding. That's crazy. It's got his dogs. It's got the mountains. Like, it's just so dope. Okay. And then for the really cool days, and both those jackets are large, by the way. They fit perfectly for my height and weight. Then I got another Pitcher Organic. This one is slightly warmer. I got this one in an extra large, so I, like if it's, we get one of those like negative 12 degree days, uh, I'll probably be rocking this jacket, or if it's like a really, really cold powder day, probably be going with this, uh, just so I can wear a couple more layers underneath. Um, this one is only, 10k waterproofing which is still awesome that's really like all you need like 20k is kind of like obsessive and uh i didn't show you the inside but they're both very similar this one's a little bit more uh, like a warmer st stuff like this like i put this jacket on in the store with the t-shirt on and i was sweating so uh it will definitely keep you warm i forget what this one is called um but it is, but yeah, the, and these are both, I think they're all kind of last year's jackets. Um, now for, these still got the tags on it, but for park in kind of, you know, warmer days or most days that aren't freezing, I'll probably be wearing these pants right here. Uh, I don't like really, really warm snow pants. I'm more of a really warm type of jacket kind of guy. Um, they're nice and light. They're uh, they're not insulated, so that's nice. Or they're very slightly insulated. And uh, I got these at Boarding House in Cape Cod, so shout out to them. That's one of my favorite stores to go in. They always have sweet deals on things, um, especially if you go in the summertime. Um, but yeah, so I got these nice, oh, and they're Gore-Tex too, I don't, I don't know, I knew they were Gore-Tex, they'd be waterproof, so, figured I'd try them out, stay warm, and, uh, got these in a medium, um, I don't know, it says tall long on them, but they didn't feel tall, tall long, maybe, maybe a little bit, whatever, keep my feet extra. Keep my feet extra dry, I didn't notice that, but they fit in the store, so. And then, those yellow ones are just, you know, spares in case uh, someone doesn't have snow pants for the day, or I go riding with someone that hasn't gone in a couple years, and, you know, so I got these cool dope snow pants right here. Um, I actually don't recommend buying these because the waterproofing doesn't seem to really last very long. The way this, this stuff is made, if you wanna see someone chop theirs up and open them, go check out Angry Snowboarder. He has a video where he actually cuts them up. It's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, they're not the most 
waterproof things. They are warm. Uh, I, I needed to bib. So I, I ended up getting these last year. Uh, but I'll probably only use these for like freezing cold, cold days. And uh, that's just because I haven't got new ones yet. Uh, so there's that. Now these are kind of my like essential wares. Um, I love these. These are awesome. They're a knee pad, but they're like nice and squishy. So you just kind of slip them on, tighten them up, and then you're good to go. Like, and like you don't, you notice them, but like you still have all your flexibility and they actually kind of, you know, help throughout the day with uh, keeping your knees kind of bent and locked in and uh, keeping them like compressed and feeling healthy. Um, my knees hurt all the time, so these were like perfect for me. Uh, they are mountain biking knee pads, but they seem to work wonderful for it. Um, so yeah, I'll be running these again this year. And I got a new helmet. I got the the um, the POC content helmet. I don't know. It's it's a POC helmet. Seemed really cool. Uh, I think POC makes good stuff. Um, I didn't try this on, which I don't recommend, but it fits perfect. My head doesn't wiggle and jiggle around, and the, I already tried it with my hat on, so I can get it with the hat, and it's comfy. And the coolest thing about it too is like these ear holes, your ears fit right in perfectly. So like, I don't know, like some of them like really squish your ears, like I have a Smith helmet. That, um, yeah, like see how it, it like comes out, it like pushes on your ears. It doesn't keep your ears really warm. It kind of just keeps them feeling uncomfortable. But this is a, a Smith helmet I had. Um, this is probably going to end up going to Madison. And then for goggles, I got some dragon goggles. These are pretty sweet. Um, yeah, so I'll probably be rocking these. They got a nice tint to them, and they came with two lenses. Uh, I did check to make sure they fit with my helmet, so that was pretty cool that they worked for me and my head shape. Everyone's head shape's different, so uh, always try your goggles on with your helmet and just, you know, make sure it's all comfortable and feels solid. Um, and then I just got some flight decks for kind of park. I'm not going to pull those out because I ended up throwing them across the room. And then I got some Smiths for those really bright days. Because they're a nice, really dark kind of tint, uh, kind of smaller. Um, so yeah, those are pretty cool. Smith makes pretty good goggles. Um, and then I just have my board bag, my, uh, not my board bag, but my bag left, which is kind of like some essentials in it. So we'll just go through that real quick. Grab you guys right here. So I got a whole bunch of mittens in here and everything. And then I got some socks. Um, I got a board lock. I got a belt. Uh, I got some mask. Some, some neck gaiters. Uh, suspenders in case someone's pants are falling down. Beanie. Uh, another beanie. Got some extra laces. Got a little kind of med pack just in case, you know, someone cuts themselves or something. They don't have to go crazy. Got some hand warmers and, uh, oh, some glove liners. Glove liners are pretty key. I got some nice Burton ones too. 
So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much all we have for snowboarding gear 2020-2023. And uh, hopefully we're going to give this year 10 shaka bras. Once the uh, weather starts to cool down, um, it's still like 70 degrees out here in Massachusetts. It's like 50 degrees up in Vermont, getting to like 60 degrees for the day. So they're probably not making snow. Mount Snow was supposed to open last weekend, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. It says it's going to rain, but we'll see. Um, so till next time, hopefully we get some more videos out. Peace.